I've come back uh, to performing arts after such a long break. In terms of trying to fit in with the rest of my cast members, I have to admit to being a little nervous at first when I wasn't sure what my place was anymore, but I was still relevant. I have to uh, thank each and every one of them for helping me to feel like a part of them. And that was done through a lot of dialogue. I think for them, they shared a lot of what they have currently with me. Dominic and Megan, they came up with all these creative things, right, that I've never seen before. We will gather around and we will play some games that are relevant to either your memory or your ability to move, your ability to interact while being silent with other cast members. I honestly really like the part where before the show, all of us gather around on stage and we're always like, have a good show to each other and just like congratulating each other. We make a lot of noise and we like say how good you were and like what like, uh, you can do better next time. And one thing that comes to mind is always dialogue. So whether it's collaboration, uh, whether it's a friendship, I feel that these things cannot be built over time without an open dialogue. Even if there are disagreements, and there will be bound to be disagreements, I don't mind the disagreements. I hope and I always wish for open dialogue even with disagreements. Because only then can you see true collaboration if you try to see somebody else's point of view. And then through that, if we are fortunate enough, friendships can be built as well. I think this show was the first period musical that I've ever been involved in. It involves a lot of research. This is a 17th century historical account. So a lot of the information was not recorded in those days. Some of it was, but some of it wasn't. And I think just getting together, pulling up websites, all kinds of materials, I think there were a few books that we referenced as well, really made a lot of difference into our understanding about how to approach certain characters, what was considered the norm in those days, and what we needed to steer clear of in that sense. And it's so different from how we behave today, you know, it's so different from the lens that we have today to look at things. How they viewed things in those days was just interesting for, I think, most of us, definitely for me.